right on into this. Yes, we are so blessed to have this up-and-coming young gentleman that is all about ministry like we just talked about. Mm -hmm. And we're going to sit back and enjoy and get to know him better. Mr. Shaylon Richardson, or is it Shaylon Richardson? Shaylon Richardson, yep. Oh, okay. So, okay. Now, man, I'm, I'm just going to start off with you and I'm just going to get all up in your juicy fruit. Uh, cause you know, I did not expect your voice to be that deep, you know, cause he looks so young, you, you, you know, I thought she was going like, yeah, that's Shaylon Richardson, you know, but you, you done got on there with the Barry White, Barry voice. White, come on. So, so, so tell me, man, with that voice, you know, how was it growing up in your neighborhood? Uh, you know, it was it's interesting because even like in high school, I had the same same voice, and so I would do like morning announcements, you know, over the intercom system, and some people always said I had that voice, but yes. I never understood it. Right. But I, I see what you mean. Yeah, it carries. Yeah. So very, di very distinguished. So uh, I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna start off with you, cause I, you know, I hope you're ready for this interview, cause I'm getting ready to get in. Okay. 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 So here's first question. You know, is that a uh, a post pandemic beard or did you always have a beard um uh, i've had a beard probably the last couple of years but i shaved it off maybe i don't know five months ago uh-huh so it's, it's back uh, okay because you don't always have to ask people that because you know everybody's right. rocking the beard and not everybody can rock a beard you know I, I can rock this this is as much as i can do amen because if i had if i try to get a beard it, it, they'd be called me patch brothers I'll be the one that oh, have to go spray yeah. stuff in, and, and patchy. And, you know. So uh, always when I see brothers uh, with the full beard, I'm like saying, bless you, bless you, brother, and bless you. <laughs> right. So where do you, where are you from? I'm uh, from Phoenix, Arizona. What? Uh, born in, you know, up the street from hey. us. We're in San Diego. Oh, okay. Yeah. Six hours. Wait a minute. So were you born and raised in Phoenix, Arizona? Bo born and raised. Yep. Okay, so Absolutely. you you really know Jesus because Cause it is high. Because the, the, I mean, to live in hell, I mean, in Phoenix, right? You know, <laughs> uh, during during the summer months, right. and y'all still go to church and they still praise, you know, the Lord. and praise the Lord like it's going out of style. Yes, you know. Let me just tell you about my experience going to Phoenix, Ooh, Arizona. I went in the summers. The first time I went, <sighs> I went and because uh, we had to have it was a family reunion and. There was all this stuff going on, and those folks had the nerve to pick me up in a car with no air conditioning in the summertime. <laughs> you know, if I was a cussing man, I would have been cussing the whole entire time I was there. Were you cussing I, your mind? No, no. I was like, Father okay. Jesus, if you okay. could deliver me okay. from this we hell. Want, we want to make sure. Wait a minute, but, but Robert, Robert. And then I went to church, and the church didn't have air conditioning. Okay, and now, they went, so, uh, so I'm on your side. Wait, wait a minute. I'm on and your side. And brother, it was so hot. That the church mother was sitting on the front row with her feet in a tub of ice. <laughs> and I said, I, I just like almost went next to her and said, scoot over. I was going to take off my shoes right. to get with her. <laughs> so how is it going up in one of the hottest places, places in, in the, the country US, yes. and still be able to sing for Jesus? You know, I, I try not to uh, be here in the summertime, if I'm being real honest. <laughs> right. um, of course, the pandemic has kept me here last summer and probably will keep me here this summer. Mm -hmm. uh, but, you know, as long as I just run into the church and run out, mm -hmm. I know they have an AC, and I know we won't be in there, you know, 10 hours, you know, at a 3 o'clock program, I'm going to be okay. Right. I can manage. I can manage. Amen. So, so how did you so start good. in music, period? Uh, so I come from a family of musicians on both sides of my family. And so it was kind of something that was always with me, but I ended up taking formal uh, piano lessons when I was seven. And so that has just kind of continued. I did take a break, of course, you know, when I got into high school, I'm like, I don't want to do this anymore. Uh, but, you know, it, it followed me. And so I continued uh, to pick it back up. Oh, you don't, you don't want to be shaved in high school? I mean, I did a little bit of band and stuff, <laughs> but I just, uh, you know, it... it <laughs> It happened. Okay, tell the truth. What, what was her name? What was her name? It took your attention from the <laughs> it, Lord. It was nobody. It was nobody. I already had that church boy reputation, so right. I couldn't run from it. Got you, got you. Now, now do, are you familiar with Eddie James? I am, yeah. Okay. Cause that, cause, he's, he's from out here. Right. He's the one that pretty much put the gospel music of, of Phoenix and um, Arizona on his back. When you've been so faithful, it came out years ago. Cause we we yeah. I, I grew up going back and forth there with the Serious Slater sisters, 
and mm -hmm. you didn't guys didn't have a whole bunch of gospel music scene on a national scale. Once he mm -hmm. came out with that, you've been so faithful. Everybody started saying Arizona, Phoenix, Phoenix, Phoenix. Classic song. So, so let me ask you this question, bro. Who are you today? How old are you? Married, single? Uh, you know, the choir minds want to know. Uh, introduce yourself to the people because you know you come on the scene. You, you, I will call you my bearded brother. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but uh, let them know who you are. You know, give us your five minute resume. I got you. I got you. Uh, so again, I'm Shaylin Richardson, uh, born and raised in Phoenix, Arizona. Uh, I'm 25, soon to be 26 at the end of this month, uh, which is crazy, but God is good. Uh, I'm a high school teacher, and so I teach finance and entrepreneurship. Um, I'm very much still active uh, within my church and uh, the youth ministries, and um, I mean, that's really me in a nutshell between rehearsals, between uh, getting ready for uh, festivals and events at the school, like that. It's what I do, um, and those things bring me great uh, passion and joy, and so I'm just glad to be a part, and I'm so glad that you guys um, have invited me to share on your platform. Now, you guys are back in, in school already, right? We are, and if I'm being honest, we never really closed. <laughs> Tell the truth and shame the devil, because <laughs> we don't start back in San Diego until April 12th, it, oh, yeah, yeah, officially. I've been there since August. Okay, let's talk about that, because this is serious. We've heard about some of the teachers that have gone on to be with their maker through this COVID thing. How did that affect you? Um, I'll say this. My school has been really good about hiring, you know, extra sanitation people and, and making sure that we have proper, uh, you know, masks mm -hmm. and, and sanitizer and social distancing. And they've been doing great um, at that. And they would also put a cap as far as how many uh, students could be in a classroom, which really helps. But of course now um, things are a little bit different, right? And so the numbers have, have have lowered a little bit here, which means we have an increase more in students. I think we're at about maybe 50% uh, capacity at this point, um, which is big considering right. we haven't seen as many kids in a while. Um, and so I'm always keeping that in the back of my forefront, yes. mm -hmm. um, that I'm like a soldier fighting on the front lines. Uh, but you know, I do know that God has my back and he is definitely uh, my protector, my shield. And so I just go on with a smile and do my job. So, 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 so brother, brother, uh, 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 Richardson, uh, what, what, what's the look that you give that kid that come in the class and you be teaching all of a sudden the kid, <coughs> what's, what's that look you give him? <laughs> he be pouring bleach on him. <laughs> Like, uh, pull that mask up. <laughs> well, so Robert L. Dean and I are both educators also, and so we head back to school this coming Monday uh, uh, to a modified uh, uh, system of, of learning, but we've literally been out since uh, last March. March. And so, and this been doing social media, uh, not social, but social distance yes. uh, teaching and counseling, mm -hmm. things of that nature. Um, um, I, I'm going I'm to have signs, you know, when, when they come to my counseling office, everything like that, if they if they go, I'm gonna have to say stop. <laughs> you should put tape. You should put blue tape on your on the floor of your door, and they can. Oh, I'm, I'm gonna have a whole fiberglass system in my office. Right. And and, and if they come in and cough, I'm like, go to the nurse. You know, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna be the quintessence. I'm gonna be the poster child of <laughs> go to the nurse. You know what I'm saying? Right. That, that they come in. I'm gonna have a mister when they come in. There's gonna be Lysol. It's just. Constantly spraying, right? They come to the door and go, shh. Well, you should hire me. You, you know I'm good with the lights off. <laughs> yeah. But no, it, you know, the, the, the funny thing about it is is that we're going to get back to the kids. And, and the thing about it is that I, Robert works on the high school level. I work on the elementary level. And uh, it's so hard because the kids, when they see you, they're so happy to yes. see you. Uh, kids at that age love to hug you, yes. love to high five you, love to be right in your yes. face. And I always say, I always look at kids and be like, no, no, no. Because the, if if you you know how they say if you uh, uh, if you play around or if you get them to cook close they going bound to sneeze, and you'd be like, oh, oh, oh praise the Lord. So how are you <laughs> mentally handling going through the pandemic and being concerned about your students that you love? Yeah, help us. Mentally, it's a, it's a battle, right? It's a it's an everyday battle because you just don't know what kids are facing, what 
um, because they might not always tell you, they might be embarrassed. Right. Um, and, and and some kids, you know, still have just been virtual this entire time, so I, I still don't know who they are besides the black screen because they refuse to turn the camera on, right, and then they refuse to talk. Um, and so I, I really have to work with what I got. Right. I have to work with what I got and be there who be there for the kids that I can be there for. Right. Um, who are willing to open up and to share. Um, and just let them know that, you know, we are trying to figure this thing out. Yes. Nobody has any of the answers. We got to take it day by day and, and just continue to live. And that's, that's really just kind of my motto. Now, my question to you is, do you have a group? Are you a soloist? Do you have a choir? What, what is your ministry? Yeah, it's, it's, it's interesting. Um, so I do work with church choirs here um, in Phoenix. I don't have a, a, a solo group per se. I'm not a solo artist, um, but I do enjoy putting folks together and making them sing. Like that's mm -hmm. just kind of one of my things. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm a choir person. Mm -hmm. No disrespect to praise teams. But I'm a choir person too. I'm a choir person yeah, too. Yeah, it, it's just it's just, it's just a sound right. when it comes to choirs that is just unmatched in terms of of um, a praise teams. Of course, it's been real hard during the pandemic. You know, I haven't had a choir <laughs> just because, um, but I'm I'm prayerful that hopefully by the end of the year we can. We pick a small choir back up and, and do some stuff. Right. So so let me ask you a question. Uh, you direct choirs? M I'm more so playing. I mean, I do direct sometimes, but I, the key is the organ is, is my, my comfort zone. So 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 you you that organ player that be that that that, that be on the hand. organ, and then all of a sudden you be like, right? You know, and and I heard that you in Phoenix are one of the best one handed directors. From the organ. Uh, I heard you won an award on that. <laughs> uh, That's, I, yeah, but that, I mean, that is me, though, in a nutshell. Like, I know y'all see these hands. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> right, so, right. So let me ask you this question, because, you know, I always wanted to ask this to organ players, because y'all don't seem to get a break during service because you got to play for the choir, uh, for the for the offer, you got to play for the preacher. How is it that you could uh, be there with no back support on that hard bench? all that time and not get hemorrhoids? You know, that's a real good question. That's a really good question. I don't know. I mean, I move around a lot and I'm bouncing with the music to just keep going. Okay. Uh, but, but well, I'm, I'm talking about for the music. Uncomfortable. For the yeah. bathroom, <laughs> huh? my thing is how they, don't take, how they don't take bathroom breaks. You know what I'm saying? Because it's almost like there, there's certain positions in the church mm -hmm. that you don't get no break. And one is that organ player. The minute the organ player get off, Pastor will be like, Especially if you're Kojic or Pentecostal. <laughs> if you're Kojic or Pentecostal, yeah. you're right, because everything's always moving. You know what I'm saying? And so, you know, so uh, in learning how to play the organ and everything else of that nature, tell me who might have been some of your biggest influences on that instrument. Wow. Uh, so, you know, you just brought up the, the Pentecostal or, or Kojic. Um, there's definitely a sound in terms of organist, and so that's the sound that I try to follow and try to, you know, uh, emulate, mm -hmm. if you will. I, so I grew up Baptist, and so the style is just a little bit different. Yes. A little bit. Mm -hmm. We're a little more bluesy, mm -hmm. you know, uh, all the time on everything. Yes. Whereas coaching, you know, we're, it's good. It's, yes, sir. It's moving. It's shaking. And so I'm trying to, uh, I've been working on developing that, that style of music uh, just because, again, I grew up in the Baptist, and it's just a different thing. Uh, and so people like, um, like Derek Derek Jackson, ooh, um, yes, or um, ooh, what's his name? Corey I, Mickey, who is, who is pretty new, I think, out there. But yeah, people like that, uh, Anthony Junebug Turner, like uh, just people saw people, Twinkie Clark. Yes, his sound is like it just makes you get happy. You don't have to have any words. Hammond Boy, B3. Henry, <laughs> it just it's great. Yeah. So so you know I, I I'm gonna give you a challenge. You ready for the challenge? Let's go. I I would love to see you and uh, Jermaine Dolly get together, him on one organ, you on the other organ, and write a song, and y'all two go mm -hmm. at it together. I think that could be a dope, dope collab. The two young bucks. Okay. All right. I'll make a note of that. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm going to call Jermaine up and say, man, check this brother out. And see if I get y'all in the collab. Because Jermaine is one of the coolest, funnest persons you're going to ever want to meet. But I bet you if y'all got on this organ, it would shift the atmosphere. And he's a church musician, too. Yeah. Yeah. Mm.
So something to, something to think right. about. So now that you hail from the hottest state that I could say on here, I mean, uh, here on earth, right. say, right. now that you hail from that area, tell me what you want people to know about your city, your your church atmosphere, and, and the message that you would like folks to know about your environment that you're in. Yeah. Um, so, you know, people are always shocked when I say I'm from Phoenix. Yep. Um, people, you know, do not think of Phoenix being a, it's a city, but it's not a city city. You know what I'm saying? Um, and, and they think it lacks culture and they think it lacks, uh, you know, gospel music, which you have kind of already touched on. And to some degree, I would say you might be right. Um, but there are people here who are doing some amazing things and some amazing works. And so don't sleep on Phoenix. I would say don't sleep on Phoenix. And then I would also just let you know um, that as long as you come, you know, within October to May, you'll survive <laughs> weather. <laughs> you'll survive our weather. And it's really a beautiful place to be. Um, and I think because of such a lack um, of national presence uh, musically here in Phoenix, mm -hmm. that there's plenty of, of room for opportunity and room for growth. Um, here where we are, and so that that would be my my message to you. You got Booby there. You got Booby in that area. Um, Carrie Strong. You got Bridget. Mm -hmm. Bridget. Mm -hmm. um, Overstreet. Um, you you got some good singers that that's come out of there. Some really good yeah. singers. So last but not least, um, I want you to tell us uh, or tell everybody here. Um, did he say he was single too? I mean, I, yeah, well, okay. I am. Okay. Yeah, I don't okay. think I said it, but yeah. All right. So, so ladies, I'm, just, I'm sorry. <laughs> can you tell us how how people can connect you, how they can uh, get your music, how they can book you? I had another and, question. Uh, but I was still wondering, if, can, I done told you we got company. Okay, praise God. All right, let's go back. All right. Uh, and then, after that, Robert has another question. Okay. For sure. Yeah, so uh, to follow me is really easy. I have a distinct name, Shaylin Richardson. So if you look that up, Shaylin Richardson, uh, either on Instagram or Facebook, you can find me there. You'll find uh, the link to my link tree, which has um, access to all of my music and everything like that. Um, and so He Will Supply, which is like my, my number one right now, is a fantastic, fantastic song that was written uh, for the pandemic. Um, but it wasn't released until the pandemic, and that really wasn't planned. That was just kind of God's timing. Wow. Um, I really just believe that, you know, God wanted this message to come out at this time because people were in a place where it had never been before, and so they needed to know that God would still supply in spite of everything that was going on in their life. And so that song continues to follow me because we're always in a situation where we're lacking something. Yeah. So it's just a simple reminder that he will supply. So, yes. All right. Uh, follow me, support me, all that good stuff. Now, who are some of the artists that you've worked with? Because I'm sure when people come to town, they ask for you. Yeah, so I recently did a um, a virtual concert back in November uh, with Andrew Johnson, which was a really, really nice. Wow. Uh, it, was called, it was called The Shift, and it was actually in Atlanta. Um, and so I had some friends coming from Atlanta, and I had some people in Atlanta, and we... Uh, put together this event. It was a, a, a phenomenal uh, event. Um, and that's actually out there. If you look it up like on YouTube mm -hmm. or on Set Apart and Chosen, the, the concert is still uh, posted for viewing. Um, and then locally, I tend to just work with um, my own uh, church choirs and then even within like the domination. Sometimes I'm doing some other stuff on that level. But uh, I like the kind of intimate, let me get to know you kind of church vibe, and yeah, it, that, that works for me. So. Well, I, I want to say this. The next time you have your shift concert, you mm -hmm. you need to invite Robert Earl Dean to preach the shift message. I'm not a preacher. Um, I'm Rob, to Robert, preach Rob, Rob, Robert the, talk about the shift right quick. I'm not, because I'm not a preacher. <laughs> Rob, 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 I'm trying to tell you, when you hear Robert speak, he'll be like, and there's a shift. I don't know why he wants me to be this preacher, though. But why are you talking about the shift? Why, why are you being embarrassed now? <laughs> I'm not, but I don't want people to think that I'm a preacher because I don't want to be a preacher. Y'all can do that. I'll sing before you. Okay. preach. 
See, see, he's been running from his assignment. Oh, and, and I Jesus. want, you, I want you, brother. Although he's a great singer and everything, I want you. Next time you have the shift concert, I want you to go ahead and invite him. <laughs> and don't say preach to ask him to give inspirational, uh, oh, an inspirational God word, Jesus, an inspirational Jesus, word, and he'll Lord. come in because he got a pre he'll do the preacher voice. Yeah. Can you just let him hear your preacher voice right quick? Let him hear your preacher voice. Okay, what do you want me to talk about? About the shift. Don't you know that there's a shift? No matter what you're going through. God's going to bring you out. I don't care how it looks or how it feels. God is in the midst and he's working it out. <laughs> he's going to shift it whatever way he wants to shift it. But be in position to shift and go with it. See, I didn't I tell you? <laughs> see, see, don't he run from your assignment. <laughs> it's, it's been prophesied that I was going to be a preacher. That's why I, I don't want to. Mm -mm. Okay, but, you know, we just, I, I love when you said the shift. It's right. just like. Ding, 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 right. let's get them now. Yeah. So yeah. anyway, brother, we want you to know that our program director <laughs> thinks that you're absolutely yes. phenomenal. Yes, she does. Uh, um, and I'm going to tell you how, how phenomenal she, she thinks you are. Uh, mm -hmm. when, when, when this was all set up, mm -hmm. uh, I had a call, I want to say 10, 10, 11 o'clock. I need you to do this. this. I'm like, I'm in a, I need it done now. And I'm like, oh, okay. You know, normally, normally 8 o'clock, I, I, I don't have to do no more work, but at 12, she was making sure everything was set for you. So, man, you got a home here at G.O.D. Radio 1. We, right and we want you to know anytime that you're in the city of San Diego on the West Coast, uh, hit your brothers up. We got you. Uh, uh, show you much love. You know, we, we, we are uh, the biggest, smallest city you'll ever want to come to. Uh, and we got, we got a little country twain with a city vibe. Yes, sir. Beautiful you know what I'm saying? City. All them beaches and stuff. Yeah. He can lay and get a tan and relax. And have some road tacos with guacamole. Yes. Come yes. on through, church. Yes. From the bed. Do <laughs> you, you guys eat tacos down there? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All the time. All the time. So I love it. Right. So your final words, brother. Uh, any words of encouragement you want to give through the pandemic as well as through uh, the, the whole social unrest? Any final words you want to give to the people before we play this uh, COVID-inspired, I guess, a song he will supply? Yeah. Um, I, again, just want to thank you guys for having me, um, you know, and truly to God be the glory for all the things that he has done, is doing, and will do. And I would just say, folks, uh, just keep moving. Keep moving. You know, and as, as long as we have breath in our bodies, we still have purpose until we still have an assignment, even if we haven't accepted it yet. Um, but, but we still have an assignment, and we've still got work to do. Um, and it gets better. It truly does get better. Yes. Amen. This is none other than, I'm going to call him Dr. 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 Shaylen Shaylen Richardson. Richardson. Right here on GOD Radio 1, this is He Will Supply. Yes, he will. <laughs>